talk about the stroke a little bit. There's a couple different ways to do it. Remember, there's a basic stroke that we talked about before where you're only really moving your forearm in a pendulum motion. So see that, how I don't really drop my elbow? And the tip goes down pretty quick and then it stops right here. But here I'm just going to keep my elbow generally where it is. See that? Okay, the other way to do it would be the drop elbow stroke. But here's how it looks different. See how my elbow drops down and my hand keeps pushing forward. My stroke is much longer when I do that. So here's without dropping the elbow. And then with dropping the elbow, stroke goes way out there. So what you can do is get a draw. It's a lot smoother. It takes a lot less effort when you drop your elbow like that. You want to be careful not to drop your hand is the thing because that is one of the biggest uh, problems that people have when they're trying to draw. If they're having problems with their draw that I've noticed is if you drop your hand right here what happens is the tip goes up. So I'll see people lining up for the bottom of the ball but then on their last stroke they'll drop their back hand and end up hitting the ball in the middle and they'll only get a stop shot and they keep wondering why, why, why can't I draw the ball? And well the, the simple answer is they're just not putting any backspin on it they couldn't see that. So you need to have somebody look at your stroke or you can do it now just by thinking about it. So watch my right hand and see how it doesn't really drop so much even though my elbow does. Okay. See how my hand is up like this? So you, you want to think of it as controlling your grip hand in your stroke. If you just control your hand, your elbow is automatically going to drop. So think about pushing your hand through and lifting it up slightly. And it helps to have a nice closed hand bridge. That's what's going to make the cue bend because you're lifting up on the cue. And the cue is pushing forward. And it's your finger here that's going to make the cue bend because you're pulling up a little bit here. All this helps keep your cue on the line. A nice line going straight through the bottom of the cue ball like that and then you're going to scrape the table for like six inches or so after you hit the cue ball. So you hit the cue ball and you go through it, you hit the table and then you keep on going like that. 